And now to a three news follow up. Tonight we're hearing from the three First Energy employees who pulled a man from his burning home in Parma Heights. Yeah, you know, the rescue happened earlier this month. And today, Danielle Wiggins spoke with the heroes and the man whose life they saved. 60 year old Ricky Price and his dogs Tank and Bella are all alive today thanks to unlikely heroes. So it wouldn't been for them, it would have been bad news for me. Is anyone else in there? Just weeks ago, Price and the dogs were trapped inside his burning home in Parma Heights. I heard somebody around back yelling, you know, screaming, help me, help me, help me. And these three first energy hazard responders who just happened to be in the area working that day heard Price's call for help. Our main concern was to get that guy out of that house. Brian Green and Sean Groom pulled Price out of a bedroom window. When I saw Brian and Sean, um, get him at least part way out of the window. I, I, I knew he was coming out. Rob Cecil helped catch him using a wicker couch to soften his fall. Company, them guys didn't have to come looking for me. They got into state work and, and went on, but they didn't. They come looking because somebody was in troubles and then they found me. The three are also credited with getting Bella out of the home and telling first responders Tank was still inside. I'm just glad that we were in the right place at the right time. And after the rescue? When we were just looking at each other, we we're like, all right. I mean, I already had another job I was heading to, so I was just like, oh, well, I guess we just go back to work now. Price, who is currently staying at a hotel with his family, has not been in contact with the men who saved his life since the rescue, but he wants that to change. Well, hopefully this time I can meet up with him and just go talk to him or, you know, say something, buy him lunch or anything. There's not enough that I can do for him. Price tells me firefighters believe that the dogs accidentally hit a knob on the stove, turning it on, which is what caused the fire. But he says he can't be mad at them. They're his best friends. He is focused on their recovery and getting his family back into their home, which is expected to take six months. Danielle Wiggins, 3 News.